Hi there! I'm here with a thought of heaven for you today from Booth's Christmas Tree Farm. And I just want you to take a look at the trees real quick. Come over here with me. Look at this tree. It's got shape to it, right? It's got shape to it. Looks like, a, uh, looks like a Christmas tree. Look at this one right here. What's this one look like? A little bit crazy, right? Kind of branches going all over the place. Uh, well, the truth is that, guess what? These trees, they don't grow in this shape. They have to be pruned. They have to have somebody come out here and actually intentionally shape the branches in this way so that it looks like what we expect a Christmas tree to look like. This tree over here, this is how it's going to grow in the wild. So this obviously is a tree that's just been kind of left to grow for whatever reason. Uh, and it makes for a great example of some truth in the gospel, especially in John chapter 15 verse 2, where Jesus says that every branch in me, meaning every branch in, G in Jesus, that does not bear fruit, uh, he will cut away. So God will trim it away. And then he says, and every branch that is in me, that God will prune so that more fruit may be uh, produced. And so uh, don't uh, go through your life expecting just to kind of grow and go crazy, you know, and, and maybe end up looking like this tree. But this is what God is really doing is when you feel like you're being pruned, you know, maybe you're not in a situation where um, you're like actually getting cut down and you feel like you've been completely cut down. But maybe some things in your life, you know, God is asking to ask you to release to him, right, to surrender to him. He's asking that to be done because he has greater plans for you and through that pruning then, he is gonna bring you into the person that he has created you to be. And so, we continue to trust in our Lord Jesus Christ for our salvation and we continue to trust in the works of God through us, remaining submitted to him so that we may not end up like the crazy tree over here, if I may say loosely, <laughs> but rather we're gonna allow God to shape us and be formed into the image in which he has created us to be. And so be encouraged today, my brothers and sisters. Be encouraged to remain submitted to God and allow him to prune you, allow him to shape you, for there's great reward in heaven. And so will you just rejoice and be at peace in this message here today, that God is working through you, he is shaping you, he's not going to let you go, and there's going to be great reward in heaven when you get there. And so let's just continue to rejoice and let's continue to be the light and let's continue to allow God to shape us. All right, that's your thought of heaven for today. I hope you're encouraged by it. God bless you and have a great day. Share this message with somebody that the good news of Jesus may continue to spread and the kingdom of God grow.